So what we see here on the bench will be familiar to any owner of a Triumph Herald or Vitesse, Spitfire or GT6. And these are the infamous Triumph Trunnions, which run on this threaded section on the upright, so they're forming a bearing and a retention system in one. And these have a little bit of a bad reputation, mostly due to poor maintenance. It's better to use oil, uh, Triumph and indeed Lotus, because these uprights are of my 1981 Lotus Esprit, which from I think 1980 to 1985 used this front suspension setup, borrowed from the Elite and Eclat. And L Lotus always said oil, um, and that's the most reliable way of keeping these lubricated and preventing corrosion of this top section which can cause cracking and also just seizure which will then snap the bottom off. So I was prepping this for my Esprit and I bought a pair of Trunnion bush kits to fit in here which consist of these nylon top hat bushes, uh, a spacer tube and then um, some pressed steel cups this is the inner end, bush goes through, and then you have this rubber seal. Fill this with grease, keep water out because this is a steel tube um, and obviously will go rusty. Now the problem I ran into was that these steel tubes in the uh, two bush kits I've got were slightly oversized um, compared to the originals. and. I went hunting through my stock and I did find one original that's not in terrible condition. Um, but even so, there's an additional issue that the this is meant to get clamped into the lower wishbone. And the joint is meant to rotate around it on these bushings. And it was all just too stiff. Um, I tried, the, the nylon does not ream nicely, um, I was having issues sizing, I went and found a new old stock Quinton Hazel kit in my spares, which turned out to be very poor quality, and if the camera will focus, the chamfering on the end of this spacer tube is so excessive, it's got no bearing surface, it's almost sharp on the, the end, you know, you can almost use it as a hole cutter. So that was no good. So now back when I was building lots of specials and kit cars with the Triumph suspension, um, if you'd had a problem with the tube rotating and doing this sort of damage but actually to the lower wishbone, either because it would seized or just cumulative wear, the wishbones were common as muck. You could find another pair, good pair. Um, this is not the same when you're dealing with Lotus Esprit's. And I've already replaced the Esprit lower arms with these Elite lower arms, which are the same except for not having a built-in spring platform. But actually I wanted that. I've got the um, spring platform adjustable on the damper. And these are the ones that I modified to take the spherical bearing in place of the original uh, rubber anti-roll bar bushings, um, which don't seem to last. The modern rubber and the polyurethane bushes are no good. I don't think the the original system was brilliant. And this is not a place you actually need the compliance of a rubber bush for you know noise, vibration and harshness. So this will actually give me better suspension location. But these are, these are harder to find. And in fact on both of th these I went in with a TIG welder and I built up the wear that had been caused by a previous spacer tube rotating. So the solution I came up with was to machine my own trunnion bushings. I should backtrack slightly. There is an off-the-shelf solution which is a poly bush kit. Um, so it's a stainless steel spacer tube, poly bushes instead of nylon, and the thing I didn't like about that particular is it's set up to use the inside of the 
um, the wishbone or lower link as the thrust surface. Also, it's a relatively expensive um, thing to buy. Uh, so I chose to re-engineer things a little bit. You know, that's why you own machine tools. So these are a settled Bosch's or Delrin would be the trade name with a stainless steel spacer tube. I had 316 stainless in 16mm OD, which suited me quite nicely to make the bushing. It's a three quarter inch bore, so just a fraction over 19mm. Then the 16mm OD spacer, which is a, um, having been through all the machining and various things, I, I've got this as a, uh, a push fit. You can do it by hand just. But one of the major advantages I've ended up with is you can see just how much more area there is to clamp this tube between the insides of the, the lower link than this original one. And then I shall be making up some stainless steel thrust washers that will go either side of the lower link, get clamped by the inner tube and that will provide the, the thrust surface and hopefully that way I won't end up with worn out lower links um, this will be fit and forget, should be good for many years to come